This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Suzanne Bourbonnet with me. You're with the Community Home Support, Lanark County. You are the Client Service Manager. Welcome back to FYI. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> you visited us a few times uh, by Zoom during mm -hmm. the pandemic. You've been here in person, both with the uh, Community Home Support and with the Civitan, too. Yeah. So you're not a stranger here. So <laughs> welcome back. Welcome Thank you. back. Mm -hmm. You're with Community Home Support. Let's talk about that. What is that? Well, it's um, a volunteer-based agency that provides support to seniors and disabled adults and those who are li living with a life-living illness or, or, or are dying. So we do programs like Meals on Wheels, uh, transportation to medical appointments, uh, diners clubs, we have a hospice visiting service, we have home help, uh, and we have respite service for those li caring for someone with dementia. Okay, and what's your catchment area? Well, uh, we have office in Perth and Smith Falls, and we serve up to um, Smith Falls office serves Merrickville, um, Jasper, Wolford, um, let's see, Lombardi, mm -hmm. and then all the way to Maberly, and then as far east as Car uh, Beckwith, not Carlton Place proper, but, but Beckwith, and Lanark Village. So it's a, a big area. Yeah. Now you depend on volunteers. Oh yeah, they're our lifeblood. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, th some of the service that, that the volunteers help you out with, very important. <coughs> like all your services are, the, w the ones we're gonna talk about specifically today, you need some drivers. Yeah. Let's talk about what yeah. do you need drivers for. Okay, so we offer an assisted um, medical transportation program. So um, volunteers donate the use of their car. They drive their car and they drive the, clients to either local uh, appointments or maybe they choose to drive out of town, you know, to Kingston and Brockville, the bigger centers. Um, they get paid mileage. They get reimbursed out of pocket expenses. So they're not spending their gas to, to take people uh, to these places. So we need, uh, we need volunteers all across our catchment area, Kathy. We, um, yeah. We need people to, um, drivers to take clients to medical appointments in Smith Falls and Merrickville. M maybe they need to take someone from Perth to Kingston or, or Smith Falls to, to Ottawa. But that's a client choice. They can choose just to do local drives or maybe they, they like to do long distance drives. It's up to them. Um, there's lots of flexibility in the role of uh, volunteers. Uh, we have lots of people that go down south, you know, or snowbirds, but when they when they're back in the spring, they they say they're available to to volunteer again, and um, we really miss them when they're gone. Yes, for <laughs> sure. Now we're bouncing back from the pandemic, like so many other um, organizations are. So we had uh, people that had to um, retire because of their health concerns during the pandemic, or they didn't care to be, you know, put at risk. So. Uh, and that's all understandable, but we do need this. Um, this service is so valuable in the community. It's a very reasonable um, cost to the client to get to Ottawa and Kingston. Um, so the, the volunteer, we only charge, the client is only charged the mileage. We do, uh, home support does not take any or add any administrative costs or anything like that. So for example, a uh, client um, drive round trip to Kingston from Smith Falls is about, um, I guess it's around $85 round trip and the volunteer will wait with them at the, say they're going to Kingston General for an appointment. The volunteer will escort them right up to the unit they need to be at mm -hmm. and uh, wait for them and take them home uh, afterwards. So the client is charged strictly that mileage. Um, now there are occasions where people can't afford the, the rate and we have a, uh, we may have subsidies available to help those folks so we don't want to say no. Now we don't transport wheelchairs so there are folks that use the service need to be uh, pretty independent and, and mobile. We, the, the volunteers certainly can help. They give a, an arm mm -hmm. and they can uh, load and unload uh, walkers into the vehicles but we don't transport wheelchairs. There's another organization in our community right. that does that. It's more most appropriate and safe. Right. So, so I, I mean, when you think of, you know, <clears throat> if you have to go for an appointment in Ottawa or Kingston, 
I mean, we're, we're, we're talking some pretty, you know, intense. We could be doing dialysis. We could be doing exactly. you know, chemo treatments, cancer treatments, that sort of thing, too. And when you've got the pressure taken off of having to actually get there, yep. that's huge. It is. Mm -hmm. And you feel hospitals are really big places. If you're Absolutely. not feeling well or you're unsure where you're supposed to be, it's nice to have a, uh, someone with you who can say, let's, okay, let's, I'll help you get to whichever unit you need to be at and let's do that together. That's right. That's yeah. a good point too yeah. because the, the, the drivers will know where they're going yeah. and that also alleviates, you know, the parking, the uh, exactly where is the hospital, where is the appointment, That's that right. sort of thing. Too. They're great advocates yes. and it's very reassuring to have someone with you when you're not feeling well or yes. uh, going somewhere new, you know. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Now mm -hmm. you also do Meals on Wheels. Yes, um, across our Kitchman area, we, we do deliver frozen Meals on Wheels, which we produce um, at our own agency. And so we are in need of drivers, particularly from Smith Falls to Merrickville. We need, um, so if anyone's living in Merrickville, maybe they'd like to come into Smith Falls, do some errands and pick up some frozen meals and go and deliver them back in their community. And they get reimbursed their, their mileage as well. There's no out-of-pocket expense to volunteer with home support. Okay, now I know you prepare the meals as well too, and you just said frozen. So do, are they daily deliveries of food or do you deliver frozen okay. meals and they can keep them for, uh, how mm -hmm. does that work? Okay, it depends on the community. Mm -hmm. um, we deliver, there's certain days we deliver in each community. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know Perth, there's two routes, Mondays and Wednesdays, for example, and Smith Falls, I think has uh, one or two routes, and Merrickville is a weekly route. Okay. So, so for more information about what days they may be available, you can talk to them about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in order to become a, vol a volunteer with Community Home Support, there is, of course, an application, but we also require our volunteers to undergo a vulnerable sector check because we're working with vulnerable, frail people, Absolutely. and we want to make sure we're getting um, the most appropriate help, that we've screened them and... Um, that, that, that's something most agencies do now too, yeah. schools, everybody yeah. does that. So, yeah. And then there's no charge for volunteers right. to undergo that vulnerable sector check. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's just a quick application, it's just a few questions. Online anymore, it's, yes. it's simple, you upload some picture, a photo and some ID and you're good to go. It's good to go, yeah. it's good to go. Now you have so many volunteer uh, opportunities at Community Home Support, uh, but these are just the two that we're going to talk about today because we have to have you come back. <laughs> okay. But let's talk about what's happening in September. You've got a big event coming up. Yes, we have a fundraiser. Um, the, o the Ontario Provincial Police Chorus is coming, um, they're making their way to Ottawa and they're stopping uh, in Perth on Friday, September 22nd. At 7 p.m., they'll be doing a concert at St. James Anglican Church for us. Um, and it's, uh, we're asking for $15 for the tickets. And they're, they'll put on a, a, <coughs> a concert with, you know, um, choral type music. Um, and they've been around for, I believe, 25 years now. This is their 25th anniversary. You've had to organize this for the last year to be able to get them. That's right. That's right. We had them once before. We had them in 2013. Anyway, they, um, it's a wonderful service they provide. It's a way for the police and the community to, uh, we're on the same beat, that's their, their, yes. their motto. Which is, <laughs> anyway, they're on their way to the uh, memorial for the fallen um, service people um, on the 23rd of September. Um, anyway, yeah, so they do this free for the community. It's great public relations. Right. And uh, anyway, they look so damper in their uniforms yes. and they're up there singing. Um, some very, um, from very good uh, music, some classic music, I guess. Absolutely, and it's going to be in the church, so the acoustics is going to be amazing. The, uh, yeah, there'll be plenty of great <coughs> seating. Acoustics are really good. Mm -hmm. So the tickets are $15. Um, we have them for sale at each of our offices, but people can call our office for information at 613-267-6400. And that's where they would phone about volunteering as well? Exactly. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, this is great that you're here today and uh, telling us more about community home supports. How long have you been with community oh, home? Oh, I've been, I guess this is my 17th year. 17th year. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Lots of growth and uh, demand is, is Absolutely. up there. For, and we uh, depend on our volunteers. We depend on our volunteers and our services help to keep seniors at home for as long as possible. Okay. Kathy, can I also mention our volunteer visiting hospice program? Absolutely. We, um, volunteers again, a key. 
if someone's dealing with a life-threatening illness, maybe they're undergoing dialysis or, or cancer or an, another life, serious life-threatening uh, illness, um, we have uh, volunteers that are screened and trained. They can go in and spend some time with mm. the, the clients uh, in, in their home or the hospital or their long-term care home, wherever the client lives. And the volunteers, they, they provide some comfort measures for these people. Maybe they help run errands to, for essential right. services, mm -hmm. picking, picking up medications or, or groceries. And oftentimes, it's providing a bit of socialization. A lot of people are alone, they don't have the family support when they're dealing with something, uh, a, a very serious illness. Likewise, if they have family, the, rest, the hospice visiting service offers a bit of respite. Right. A caregiver break. Nice. So um, the, care, the volunteer can sit with the person with that cell, and the, the spouse can go and do some errands or do something fun for themselves and just get a break from that responsibility for a bit. Yeah, quite often a hospice worker is, is a great support for the family and the friends around. Exactly. The loved one, yeah. So the, uh, we're, we're hoping to have an open house in September to attract new volunteers. Um, so and that day will be. Training. We do provide training. Okay. There's two levels mm -hmm. of, of training or two courses a person can choose, and that's done online, and it's, it's at your own pace. Excellent. And there's no cost, again, to volunteer or to take that program. Um, it's a great way for people to develop skills. Maybe they mm -hmm. want to get into the health care uh, er service area, or maybe they're retired from something and they want to give back to the community. So it's... Uh, and once the training is done, too, you are a great support to the worker as well afterwards. Yes. Very much so. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So appreciate you being here today. Uh, Suzanne Bour Bourbonnet from our Community Home Supports. Big catchment area. You need some volunteers. Please call. What's the number again? 613-267-6400. Thank you very much for being here. Let's Th give them a call. Thank you.